Hey guys, just to start off the video, I want to let you know that each tame, each mount, the saddles come down to three different categories, small, medium, and large. Um, so depending on the mount, you will have to ha use either of those. There's no specific ones for bears, giraffes, rhinos, and all that kind of stuff. It's just small, medium, or large. So if you have one of each of those on you while you're going out and taming, you'll always be able to put one down. So it's really, really simple, actually, in my opinion, it's a lot better. It works a lot better than you don't have to worry about, you know, researching a whole bunch of different saddles. There is a lot more to taming. You guys are going to have to figure out. I'll leave that to you guys so you have something exciting to learn. Um, and once again, yeah, we're on uh, the solo server just trying to sort it out for you guys. Hey guys, so in this video, we're just going to go around and tame all the different creatures that you can tame on here and put saddles on. Um, we're going to find out what they harvest and if they're good for PvP, whether they're just carry mounts, speed mounts. Or anything like that kind of stuff and uh we'll show you guys what they do hope you guys enjoy if you do make sure you hit that like button if you think it's informative make sure you hit that like button as well and if you haven't subscribed make sure you do that as well see you guys in the video Thank you. right let's see what this does this doesn't get any any five um oh it gets beans so berries and beans at harvest It doesn't get much thatch though. It gets thatch, but it doesn't get much. Maybe affected to carry stuff? But to actually farm with it right now, it doesn't seem a bit more effective than using the hatchet, because hatchets get you a lot more, and pickaxes get you a lot more. Uh, there's the berries. I want to see these berries. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, it gets heaps of berries, eh? So if you want to go multi multiply, or multiply collect, um, Berries and that ready for like an adventure, you go out with a ball. Go get a bunch of. Yeah. So I tested out the elephant and we found out that it actually gets a decent amount of wood. It's kind of like the Mammothon arc where it gets heaps of wood, it uses a lot of stamina really quick, so you have to be careful of that because it loses HP as it um, gathers and loses stamina. Once it starts losing stamina, it loses its HP, so keep an eye on that. Um, you can increase its melee. On the ball, you can't increase its melee. Um, so this is really good for getting you a whole bunch of wood. So keep that in mind when you want to go start building a whole lot, of, a whole bunch of ships and whatnot. Um, besides that, I don't think it really... It doesn't gather berries. Um, and its right attack doesn't do much. The right click attack doesn't do much. Come here! Come here, boy! My little waggly tail is coming for you! So basically the sheeps don't gather anything. Um, you can hit trees and get maybe one thatch, I think. But they basically get you nothing. You can't harvest bush, you can't harvest trees, you can't really fight with them. They're kind of useless. They're just I think they might be classed as a mutton thing, kind of like Ark as well. So don't bother taming them for a mount. Not even worth really running around on them, they're not that fast. But they are pretty funny to use, so if you want to go have some fun on them, go for it. I'm not going to give you guys what you need to tame them. I want you guys to figure that out for yourself so that it's something still to learn about the game. I just want to tell you what they gather so then you know whether they're worth to get or not. A bit of melee. Let's have a look. And you can't, you can increase the melee on this as well. Oh, dude. Look how much you get from it. Oh my god, this is... This is disgusting, dude. Where's the metal node? Let's see how much metal it gets. Is it... Let's see if there's a metal node around here. Its stamina runs out pretty quick. It doesn't... Ha it, it, it has the charge thing as well. Dude, it gets berries like a crazy bitch as well. This is the harvesting mount of them all. Besides for me, this is the resource gatherer. 100%. So basically the rhino is a berry harvester. We we basically think that it's, a, um, it's an Anki, but a rhino at the same time. So it's pretty amazing. It gathers stone and flint 
and berries like a monster. And we're guaranteed to gather metal and oil and all that pretty well as well. So if you can get one, get one as soon as possible. It will help you building your stone bases up really quick. Obviously getting lots of metal for gear and whatnot. It's the gathering mount of the game. So it's the best one to get so far. So make sure you grab that as soon as possible. It's going to be hard to tame. From what I've heard, I'm not going to say how to tame it, but it's going to be hard to tame. So keep an eye out for that. Make sure you get yourself one, or 20, or a thousand. I want to test this bitch out for stuff. Might be the speed mount. Let's give it a go quickly. Oh, look at the speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, it's so fast. So it's C attack is... Nothing? I thought it did a C attack then. Um, it does like a peck for an attack. It gets berries pretty quickly. But it's very um, precise in where you have to attack. Um, it's like a chicken. It sounds like a chicken. Um... What the hell is his roots? Just thatch. So it gets like basic amount. This is a level 1 though, but it gets thatch and wood. So in conclusion, this mount doesn't really harvest stuff very well. It doesn't even harvest berries very well. Um, trees and thatch and wood, no good. Um, it's a fast mount, so if you want to get around really quick and with good stamina, this is great for that. So keep that in mind. That's probably all it's really good for. Nothing really else. It doesn't harvest meat at all. Okay. What does it get? A lot of berries. A lot of berries. Holy shit, the berries it gets. So this is a very this is a good cooking mount. Fucking hell, dude! Doesn't get wood. Oh, it does. Yeah, tiny amount, like fuck all. So it's definitely the berry harvester of all. That thing, dude, that got me. How much in it did it get straight away? Blackberries. I got three hundred and something just then. Like, yeah. Definitely get pigs for this shit with that. Alright, let's go find out what other berries we can get here. Oh my god, so many. And this is a level 1. So basically, the pig is amazing for berries. If you want to get a, a berry mount quick, get a pig. Because this thing, this boar, is insane for getting berries. It's good for cooking, making all your recipes and stuff. And for just getting berries to go out on an adventure before you head out on your on your boat or on your galleon or anything. You get you can get your weapons out on top of it as well. Is it? It's crazy. It does two different attacks. It's it's the saber tooth basically. It's a it's a raw. Watch. Shit, dude. <laughs> So the tiger is basically just a saber tooth if you've ever played Ark. It, it's a PvP mound, it gathers meat, prime meat, a lot of hide, so it's a really big hide farmer, so if you want to grab hide, it doesn't help, obviously harvest any thatch, wood, fiber or anything like that, it's just a, it's a meat farmer and hide farmer, so keep that in mind guys, if you need to get a lot of hide, grab one of these guys.
the fuck was that? Like a stomp kind of like. Have what? So basically, this is just basically halves like general shit. Does it has a hit back effect as well. So basically, the giraffe is basically it's just a mule. It um it harvests some thatch and wood, but not much. Not really worth the uh, the use, to be honest. Um, when you look at it, you could probably get more with a hatchet or something else. Um, it's fast. It's a good mount for speed. It's really fast. It's got a good speed to it. Probably got good HP, but it's not really good for anything to gather with, to be honest. It's just there to kind of like mounts aren't meant to be overpowered on this game which is really a really good change compared to Ark because Ark was um highly based around mounts and and tames you get a giga and you just munch everyone's dinos on this you can't so it's really good so the giraffe is basically just a mule that you just drive around and use to transport stuff and get around quicker and whatnot so it's not really good for gathering That is insane, dude. You've been fighting that level 2 for ages. That's a struggle. You're lucky you're not running into more than one at a time. Oh, this stuff here looks like corrupt nodules. It just looks like corruption stuff, but... There's a bunny rabbit. He just killed it, poor thing. Does nothing to trees. Where we were, we couldn't find any bushes on the snow, so we couldn't really test whether they harvest berries. However, if it's anything like Ark, which I'm pretty sure the the assets have been like transferred over from Ark, so I'm guaranteeing it will gather berries and fiber and stuff as well. So this mount should be pretty good for that. Um, they're not overpowered. Like he took on that Yeti, which is classed as a mythical monster, um, and it took him literally 20 minutes to fight that thing. It took ages and it was a level 2, so they're not overpowered. The bears are strong, don't get me wrong, but they're not overpowered like um, creatures from Ark. So it's not too bad. Um, also, we tried the wolf out, I didn't get to record that, but the wolf is a really good mount for a starter mount for PvP because it takes bones to, to tame, so it's really easy to tame and it's powerful as well. So keep an eye out for a wolf. I'm not sure whether it takes a saddle, I haven't found that out. It might not if it's anything to do with Ark. Obviously, I'm referring to Ark a lot because it is a lot to do with Ark, this game. Um, it's not Ark, but it is similar to Ark because it has a lot of the same mechanics and stuff. Um, which doesn't bother me because I enjoy both games. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed If you did and you find this really informative, let me know down below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.